Option number two is you have to make sure that you load all of the relevant add-ins for your application. Let's take a look. I'm going to close the close UFT. Close the browser. And open UFT again. I'm going to click continue. And you guys check it out here. My add-in manager comes up. Now, I only installed these three add-ins there are many more there are java add-ins there are oracle add-ins siebel so many other add-ins for this that you may need to install for your application now i don't know what your application needs but you should know that there's an automation engineer working at your job and so you know what add-ins you need and you need to install them and then you need to go through and check them off okay i only need the web add-in because i'm just showing you guys the web stuff but you may need other add-ins. So you go in, check stuff off, make sure you have everything that you need, and then that will recognize objects. Now, if I uncheck the web add-in and I click OK, now I have no add-ins loaded. Oh, and let me give you another quick tip while we're doing this, guys. Don't load all the add-ins. The performance of UFT significantly degraded when you have more add-ins than you need. You want to have the minimum number of add-ins required in order for you to accomplish your goal. Very simple, and it will make your performance much faster and better. All right, so let me open up my GUI test. See, it even uh, gives me a warning that before they were associated, now they're not associated. Now let's go ahead, go to Object Spy, try to recognize, and you guys see that? Everything is a win object again. I hover over the buttons, it's not recognizing them. Hover over the win edit, it's not recognizing them. Now, I'm going to close this up again. Close UFT. Open UFT. And now I will load all the relevant add-ins, only the minimum ones required, which is just web. And then I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. In the meantime, let me open GUI test as well. And for those of you that are new to UFT, we have a few videos that teach you how to install it, how to use it, and my favorite features that I like about it. So go ahead and check those out on YouTube. They are up there for your viewing pleasure. Get my object spy, and voila, everything works just fine. You guys see that? Cool. So that is solution number two. All right. Load all the relevant add-ins. All right.